Hey guys, welcome to Monday with Deco Art. So, today we're going to try something a little bit different, and it happened because I did something stupid. <laughs> so, those of you who know me in real life know that I live most of the year in stretchy pants, tank tops, and flip flops. <laughs> I do live in California, and yes, we do have kind of a winter, but it doesn't really, honestly, ever rarely get that cold. Um, plus, I'm, you know, middle aged, and so I'm menopausal, and so I'm hot all the time. Um, occasionally I'll put my Uggs on or tennis shoes, it's usually because I'm going out walking or it's really, really cold, like below 30, but it has to be cold for me to even put sleeves on. <laughs> so anyway, I was in the studio the other day and I had a white tank top on and I was being lazy and I didn't put my apron on. I was working with some acrylic inks and I splattered some all over myself because, you know, <laughs> that's what I do. Ah, it gave me an idea though to try some deco art products and instead of trying to get the acrylic inks out of my white tank top, what if I use some deco art products and see if they stain the way the ink did and if I can create something interesting on the tank top um, using the deco art media fluid acrylics. So I've got my tank top here <laughs> and it's in this plastic tub so you know that the stuff doesn't go everywhere. Um, but you can see the brown spots on here. That's where I got the uh, ink. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I want to sort of wad it up, kind of tie-dye style, right? And I'm going to grab, I've got a couple of these little, like just little cups. These are, this is a yogurt container. This is from some ice cream or gelato, I think, um, when I was in Las Vegas. Oh, they give you the gelato in that little cup. And I take the little cup home. I just dropped it. There it is. All right. So we're going to mix up. I have the DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics. This is raw umber, which is a brown, dark brown. And I wasn't going to, but I do think I'm going to throw a little bit of the fabric painting medium in it. I am interested in how this is going to stain. Um, let me get something to stir this up a little bit. But I thought it wouldn't hurt to throw the fabric painting medium in there. And the um, tank top is wet. <clears throat> and I'm going to actually get this watery and more inky. So I'm going to add some water to it. And then I'm going to just drop it on. Because the tank top's wet, you can see that it's like starting to bleed into the shirt. Then I'm going to... Ooh! I just spilled some of the fabric painting medium. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm going to take my shirt and I'm going to move it around a bit. And take the rest of this. Pour it on here. Right, and then I'm going to put some water in here, get all of it out of there. Okay, and then I'm going to do that with a couple more colors. I'll fast forward through that and we'll see what happens and I'll be back. I decided not to do a speed through. We're going to do this in real time, but I had to clean up my fabric medium spill first. <laughs> so I just did that. So now I'm going to, we've got the brown on here and it's just kind of in spots. And now I'm going to add another color. Um, I'm going to use the cobalt teal. And for <laughs> the spilled fabric medium, I did get most of it up and saved most of it actually. And I'm going to add some water. And let's mix it up. Isn't that a pretty color? I mean, what's the worst that can happen to the shirt? It was already stained and kind of unsalvageable. And we're going to just, we're going to go with that and we're going to make it crazier than it already was. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to get in there with your spray bottle, get it more wet, get that paint to really, you know, kind of move around. Okay, next color. Um, I want to do some, I 
do I want to do? I've got a few colors out here. I've got Quadrochrome Gold, Quadrochrome Magenta, and Dalyuride Yellow. Hmm. I think I want to go with magenta. It's going to turn a little purple because I've got some blue in here, but it's already kind of a purpley color, so we're okay with that. it up. Now the trick to this that I'm going to do is I'm not going to really wait for it to dry to wash it. I am going to um, wash it and rinse it out while the paint is still wet and and in that way I think we're going to see if it stains or not and if it does how much and how you know crunchy it is, how pliable and soft this paint is. Look at that bright color. Isn't that pretty? And I think I want to add some more of the blue. So we're going to do that. Now I'm not of course going to throw this right into my washing machine with all this paint on it. What I'm going to do is let it sit for a few minutes, rinse it, rinse it out in my paint sink, and then once it runs clear, then I'll wash it. Um, you don't want all this paint on the inside of your washing machine. Okay, I want to add some more brown back to it. I lost my most of my brown. I'm actually going to use this other container. It's got a little bit of the fabric medium in it. So let's use it up. Okay. Do it in a plastic wash tub like this. This I got from American Science and Surplus or an old storage bin or something like that. Okay. Make sure you use colors that will kind of blend well. You can see here that if this dries and looks like that, that's going to be really pretty. So make sure you use colors that blend well and aren't, um, you know, going to create some secondary ugly color that you're not going to like. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, rinse it out, wash it, dry it, and I'll be back and show you what the results are. Okay, here we are back with the finished tank top, and I'll tell you what I did and what worked and what didn't. Um, I love the way it turned out, by the way. It's grungy and paint splattery and stained on purpose, and I love that. And these tank tops are from H&M, and um, they're pretty thin, as you can see. And I always wear them layered over uh, something else. So um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, or, or a couple of something else's. Uh, so this is what I did. Um, some tips and tricks. Now I applied the paint the same way all the times that I did it, but I have done it multiple times. What I learned from doing that is, if you're going to do this, go ahead and mix your paint and water mixture up, get your, your tank top or t-shirt wet, and um, go ahead and just have some painty, splattery, squishy fun and really just get it really soaked in there. Then let it dry completely. It's going to feel stiff, it's going to feel crunchy, don't worry about it. Let it dry completely until it's bone dry. Then take your tank top, stick it in the dryer for like an hour. Yeah? That's going to heat set the paint and, and you're going to pr be promoting the stain. Don't you just love the way that turned out right there? Um, you're going to be encouraging it to stain and stick in the fabric. After you do that and it's been in the dryer for an hour, you can take it out, put it in your washing machine, Run it, run it through a full cycle, stick it back in the dryer and dry it, and it's going to come out like this. 
soft and I wish you could feel it. I mean, you can't even tell it's not crunchy at all. It's not stiff at all. Um, when I do this, and whether I'm washing this tank top for the first time or I'm washing my painty rags, which um, I actually washed this with those, um, and because they needed to be done, and so I have a load of painty rags. So I always put these in my washing machine with some washing machine cleaner soap, which is a special kind of soap. I, I'm sure other brands make it. I buy the washing machine or clean washing machine cleaner by Tide. Um, it works great. I follow the instructions. I put the soap in with these painty rags, and I, this time I put my tank top in. And I run it through the cycle just the way our, the directions say to. And then I do an extra cycle just to make sure I'm not leaving any painty residue inside my washing machine. I take them out, stick them in the dryer. I'm good to go. I've never had a problem. Give it a try. See what you think. And, uh, of course, you could wash it by hand. You don't have to use your machine. And then stick it in the dryer. Um, but the washing process will get any of the crunch out. Yeah? And uh, heat setting the paint makes it stain, so who knew? All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you would like to uh, send me any happy mail or maybe a product to try and review, my P.O. box is in the uh, description below. You can leave a comment on the video if you have a question, a comment, or a concern. I'll be sure to respond to you, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. I'm working on being more timely with those. And uh, if you would like to keep the free lessons here on YouTube coming and Periscope, uh, the live tutorials on Periscope, there is a fan funding button on the main page of my YouTube channel. I also have an Etsy store. Links in the description below. And uh, I think that's it right now. Have a great day. Have a great weekend uh, or week. Uh, and uh, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.